Welcome to today's presentation. Today we look at KCC Mathematics Paper 1 2018 and we look at question 1 up to 3. So straight to question number 1. Without using a calculator, evaluate. So we have this problem right here. So in such problems, we'll have to work out the numerator and the denominator separately. So beginning with the numerator, we'll have to first of all express the mixed fractions as improper fractions. So we'll have 2 and a third is 7 over 3 minus 1 and a fifth is 6 over 5 of 2 and thereafter we apply board mass the order of operation so for this case off comes first in the order of operation so we are going to have 7 over 3 minus and then we carry out this operation so we have negative 6 over 5 of 2 and that is minus 12 over 5. So when you work out this, we should get negative 1 over 15. Now, that is for the numerator. Next, we look at the denominator. And for the denominator, we have a quarter minus negative a half raised to power 3 so that means we are going to cube negative so negative cubed that is negative and then a half cubed that is 1 over 8 so we cube the numerator and cube the denominator in other words everything inside the brackets is cubed so we end up with negative 1 over 8 so negative followed by a negative that is addition so we'll simply have a quarter plus an eighth and this when we add we get three over eight now from here we have the numerator and the denominator so what we'll simply have is numerator which is a negative one over fifteen divide by 3 over 8 so this is just negative 1 over 15 times 8 over 3 which gives us negative 8 over 45 so that is for question number one next to question two given that 6 raised to 2 n minus 3 is 7776 find the value of n so the first thing is to express the right hand side in index form so when we factorize 7776 we realize it gives us 6 power 5 so we can apply factor 3 and end up with 6 power 5 so with this we'll come and say back to the previous equation 6 power 2n minus 3 is 6 power 5 and at this particular point we will drop the basis and therefore equate the powers 2n minus 3 is 5 and for this case adding 3 to both sides of the equation will have 2n is equal to 8 and therefore n finally is 4 and finally for question number three we are told the base of a right pyramid is a rectangle of length 80 centimeters and width 60 centimeters each slant edge of the pyramid is 130 centimeters calculate the volume of the pyramid so first i want us to begin by sketching the pyramid so we are told the base 
is rectangular and then we are told it's a right pyramid a right pyramid that simply means the vertical height from the apex meets the base right at the center so if we have the slant heights as these and then for the sake of explanation I would wish that we label these A, B, C, D and let's have the apex right there as V and then this point O so because it's a right pyramid O is the center of the base and therefore if we join A to C through O then AO should be equivalent to OC now we are told that the base has dimensions 80 centimeters by 60 so these are centimeters and then the slant heights are all equal and each is 130 centimeters so with this we can therefore answer the question that follows you are asked calculate the volume of the pyramid so volume of the pyramid is obtained as a third times the base area times the height already we can get the base area because the base is rectangular in shape and we have the dimensions that is length by width but we do not know the height of the pyramid but for this case the height of the pyramid is v o so we'll be tasked uh, to find the value of v o so before we get the value of v o i want us to identify that a b c is a right angled triangle so we will first of all get the size of ac and the size of ac from triangle abc will be obtained by pythagoras theorem because ac is the hypotenuse so we have this is a b c and here is 90 so we have here as 80 60 and we need ac so ac by pythagoras theorem is the square root of 80 squared plus 60 squared and that should be the square root of 10,000 and that is simply 100 centimeters so if ac is 100 centimeters then oc is simply a half of ac that is a half of 100 and that is 50 centimeters remember we are interested in oc because i want us to extract triangle voc which will in turn help us get the height of the pyramid vo so if we have triangle v o c then v c we are told is 130 v o we don't know but o c we now know is a half of a c which is 50 and the height meets the base at 90 so with this we can therefore again use pythagoras theorem to get vo which is the height of the pyramid and that is simply the square root of hypotenuse squared 130 squared minus the base squared that is 50 squared and that should be the square root of 14400 and this should be 120 centimeters now we already have the height of the pyramid what is remaining is now the volume so we we'll substitute the values we have in the formula to get the volume so finally 
volume of the pyramid is a third times the base area that is length by width 80 times 60 and then times the height which we now have as 120 finally we will be able to get 192,000 cubic centimeters that is it for this video I want to thank you for your patience thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video